Welcome to the Jazzy Eyes Podcast, taking care of your vision with expert precision. Here's your hosts, Dr. Laura Falco and Dr. Tween Nguyen. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to episode number one of the Jazzy Eyes Podcast. Yes, I am your co-host and producer of the show, Jeremy Wolf, and I'd like to welcome to the stage... None other than your hosts, Dr. Laura Falco and Dr. Twee Nguyen. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. That's what I normally say, but really, you know, you're, you're inviting me in. So thanks for having me. Uh, this is so exciting. Uh, congratulations on the first episode of your very own podcast. So I'm excited to uh, jump in and get started. So I thought we would start by, uh, why don't you share with the listeners, for those that don't know, Tell us about a little bit about Jazzy Eyes. Um, so Jazzy Eyes has actually been a staple of the Davy landscape for 35 years, approximately. It um, People who grew up in this area remember coming as kids to get their first pairs of glasses. And now they're bringing their kids for their pers- first pair of glasses. So it, it actually started off without a doctor. It started off as an optical by itself, and everybody would bring outside prescriptions. Um, and th- there were appointments to get your glasses done, and it was it was a like, really fun place that had probably the broadest selection and the funkiest glasses. Probably in Broward, maybe like the whole <laughs> Broward and Dade County. I mean, it was it was a, it was a place that everybody who grew up here kind of went to. Now, I didn't grow up here, so this is all information to me from other people. But I've had plenty of patients tell me I've been coming here since the late '80s, since Jimmy opened it, who was the optician basically who started the business. And I would say um, probably five, six years into the business, um, Dr. Michael Kimmelman, who preceded me at the business would work in the business like a couple of days a week carved out a little area in the practice just to do eyeglasses well you fast forward that and he eventually owned the business bought the business from the people who had previously owned it and did eye exams full time and now to really fast forward it so about five years ago i bought the business and renovated the business to have two exam lanes and now dr nguyen and and i both have our lanes and we work side by side now two doctors are seeing patients at the same time full time pretty much at jazzy eye so it's come from having no doctor (laughs) to a doctor part-time a doctor full-time and now two, two this is the first time to my knowledge that there's two doctors working at jazzy eyes Awesome. And, and I know uh, we, we actually got into a little bit into your background uh, when we did the Good Neighbor podcast. I know you, you have a strong background in education, but I wanted to uh, you know have Dr. Nguyen talk a little bit about her background first and um, kind of what she's now bringing to the table over at Jazzy Eyes, because I know she's um, this is relatively new for you guys. She just came on. I mean, how long ago, Dr. Nguyen, did you come on? Two, two and a half months ago. Roughly. Wow. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so I... I'm local here. I've grown up here since I was one, been here for 20 something years in Broward County. I went to high school in West Broward High, graduated in 2015, had no idea what I wanted to do right after I graduated high school because people want you to know exactly what you're doing when you graduate high school to get into college. But that wasn't the case for me. So during the summer of my 2015, after I graduated, I had met Dr. Falco, who had been like a longtime friend of my sister's. Um, She knew that I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do when I graduated. And so she was like, oh, you know, I'm a professor at Nova. How about you come just shadow me in optometry and see how you you like it? I ended up doing it for about three months into my summer. And I was like, wow, I really like this. I like the pace of optometry. I like how intimate it is. And I just like how having just a a pair of simple glasses can just change your life forever. And I'm saying this in personal experience because I didn't get my first eye exam or I didn't even get my first pair of glasses till I was 18. And she was the person who made me me my first pair of glasses. And my vision was horrible. I didn't know (laughs) if, if I had taken the driver's exam, my licensing exam for driving without glasses, I would have never passed in a million years. Like my vision was that bad <laughs> when she gave me those first pair of glasses. I was like, wow. Like, 
Yep. Right. Just a simple pair of glasses can change just, you know, your life. And so I ended up going to optometry school. I, oh, I ended up going to Nova for undergrad because I knew I wanted to go to Nova for my optometry school. They were the only optometry uh, school in Florida. So I went and I applied for my uh, undergrad. Uh, and I also did a dual admissions program, which means they would save me a seat for the optometrics program in Nova if I had just, you know, uh, did well at, at school and gotten, uh, did well on the uh, admissions test for optometry. So I did my undergrad there. I majored in biology minored in psychology and then in 2019 i graduated undergrad with a uh, distinction and then i went on to apply for optometry school at nova and then recently 2023 i had graduated with honors and now i'm at jazzy eyes with Dr. falco well, again, c congratulations um, <laughs> on, on this wonderful new opportunity. Um, it's always nice, isn't it, Dr. Falco, to bring in some, you know, a, a fresh face to the business and kind of rejuvenate yes. everything. So it sounds like you got a wonderful team working over there. Uh, and it's so funny you said earlier about you know, uh, not being able to really see until you got your glasses. Like, talk about a, a true eye-opening experience, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it's great how you you became so passionate. It's great how you you both knew each other before this, and you're working together now, um, and we're all part of the yes. same community. Really, really yes. phenomenal. Dr. Falco, why don't you share a little bit um, briefly just about your background? Um, we talked about how you were in education. I know you worked at Nova for many, many years. Just share briefly a little bit about that. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So so I grew up right outside of New York City. I grew up in Rockland County, just about 25 minutes outside of Manhattan. Well, well, hold on, I hold on. Back, I'm sorry to cut you off. Did you say Rockland County? I did. I grew up in Rockland County. I was born in Suffern, Good Samaritan Hospital. My I, brother I, I, was born in Good Sam. <laughs> <laughs> How did we not recognize? I think you said that on the Good Neighbor podcast, so it didn't register. I think I heard something else. But yeah, I, I lived in New City, Spring Valley, uh, until I was about 15, and I moved down to South Florida. Isn't that so you funny? didn't go to high school in Rockland? Uh, two years, uh, yeah, in Suffern. Where'd you Suffern go? High. Suffern High. Oh, so, okay, Ramapo. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I'd say, <laughs> I'd say I wouldn't hold it against you, but what does it even matter? I don't even remember that far back anyway. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, so yeah, so I grew up like 20 as you know 25 minutes outside of manhattan mm -hmm. and then i went to undergrad i was a new york state resident so i did all new york state schools. so i did albany and then i went into manhattan for optometry school and then my how i ended up at nova was i ended up doing a residency in anterior segment which is red eye stuff and i wanted a different experience and i had never left new york my entire life and had really no really never experienced like outside of the New York tri-state area right there. So I ended up going down to fly to see residency down in Alabama. So University of Alabama, which I literally had to get a map out to figure out exactly where I was going in Birmingham because a New Yorker doesn't really know anything outside of New York sometimes. So I, <laughs> I flew down and I looked around and I said, wow, this is so different than anything I, I learned and, and the environment with which I grew up in. So I packed it up against my family's advice. They're like, no one, no one could wrap their mind around New York City to Birmingham, but I did. I had a great experience. And while I was in the middle of my residency, I met one of the deans at Nova who loved the fact that I had cross training because I had done an external rotation in Atlanta and, and for the lighthouse for low vision. And then I was doing New York and Birmingham, which is atypical. So he invited me down. They offered me a position and I taught, which I thought I would only stay for two or three years, 18 years later. <laughs> I taught at the university for 18 years teaching in the theory and methods class and then seeing patients at all of pretty much all of Nova's clinics at the time I was there, North Miami, Broward and the Davy clinic. Um, and it was, it was excellent. It was a, a totally different. Every semester you got to see things that are, are really, really wild stuff, amazing machines that, you know, most people can't afford. I got to use. So it was a really great experience, but there was always this little part of me that wanted to be an entrepreneur and own my own business. And it kind of went on the back burner. And for many years, I mean, I enjoyed my time at Nova. I raised my daughter and then I, the opportunity presented itself with Jazzy Eyes. And I, and I basically took it, jumped and took after 18 years, you know, jumped out and, and said, this is it. I'm going to do it. So, so yeah, I did have a long stint there of teaching at the university, but it was awesome. Yeah, no, that's really great. And, and we talked about this before, how it, it, wonderful and important it is that you bring such a strong 
uh, educate, educating or educator background to the business, you know, to learn and t- really teach and share your knowledge mm-hmm. with people and then take all that knowledge and take all that, everything you've shared and, and to open up a practice to continue to help people in a different way is really, uh, really awesome. So why don't you, um, I know you both are incredibly busy, obviously we all are. Um, why, why don't you share, and if you can start with you, Dr. Nguyen, share with mm-hmm. the listeners why you're doing a podcast, right? Like what's, what's the goal? What's your mission behind doing this? So I think there are two sides to the podcast. One, the person doing the podcast for, for me doing the podcast, I think it's just a great way to be more personal and intimate with the community and the people that I'm reaching out with. And it's, it's about educating the community and keeping them up to date about, you know, the newest technology for glasses and stuff like that. While talking about my interests about optometry for the people listening to the podcast, I think it's a very now podcast is a very convenient way of getting your news and and all of your up to date kind of technology. Um, it's more convenient than um, like television or now reading because now podcasts, you can listen anywhere at any time. And it's just it's it's a better way of you getting um, even in the car on the way to, to, to work. It's just more convenient to listen to. Yeah, it really is a, a wonderful platform. And, you know, for me personally, doing the Good Neighbor podcast, uh, it's really uh, transformed my own situation. And, and I've met so many wonderful people and learned so many wonderful stories. So it's, it's really, really great to be doing this um, uh, with you ladies. So, Dr. Falco, maybe if you could share with us, uh, mm-hmm. what's your motivation behind doing the podcast? Well, I'm, I'm going to echo what Dr. Nguyen said, that I do think it's a really, it's, a, it's another medium for people to listen. And today I hope they listen as I can't get my background to work because I'm old. So um, (laughs) (laughs) listening would be a better way because then it doesn't look different. But uh, no, but in all seriousness, I've, um, I've always networked since I bought the business. And this is a really interesting way to, to reach people different than the traditional mediums that I think when you start a business, everyone pushes you into and tells you, oh, like you need to, you need to be in this one, you need to be there, you need to go in this meeting and meet these people, and and that's great. But then you know something like COVID hits, and all of a sudden, all of these events to get your name out there, to meet people, to, for them to get to to know you personally, you know, like she's saying, when people aren't gathering in groups anymore, or it's kind of like a little bit different now post COVID. I feel like this is a really interesting way to have people get to know you and and start to learn, you know, about you. And and like she said, the more you feel like you know your doctor, and if and you click with that person, the more comfortable you are. And this is this is like a really nice way to 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 do that, regardless of pandemic status. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I am incredibly excited to embark on this journey with you both. And I'm looking forward to uh, future episodes where we could, uh, well, where you could really share with listeners um, and educate um, all about what you guys do for our great community. So uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to add before we close? Not everybody all at once. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I, I guess with that, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll call it and we'll look forward to seeing everyone on the next episode of the Jazzy Eyes podcast. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye ladies. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Jazzy Eyes podcast. For more information, visit jazzyeyes.com or contact 954 Four seven three zero one zero zero.